What's up gamers? Welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange. We're definitely in the fourth episode of the overall game. So I feel like things are about to really ramp up in like, I would say to use a word commonly used in English class, we are almost at the climax of the game. Yeah, it has been really intense. This game has a lot of really good like life lessons, pretty much just being you know, even though things may seem like they suck in the present, never really know how things might play out if something else happens. So it's always best, even when things seem really sucky, to like appreciate the good because there's always going to be good, there's always going to be bad, but you know, just finding the light in the things that aren't so great. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Thank you again so much for joining me. And without further ado, let's get back into the story. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate Ooh. feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just Aww. go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you, you never know me. somebody else's situation. I had no idea what shit she was going through. You never know, exactly. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. <laughs> Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. That's something I always try to remember nowadays. It's like, you know, as crappy as somebody else might seem like they're being to you, if something happens to you, you never really know quite what's going through the other person's head, what's going on in their lives. You know, things are not always black and white. Things are not always good and bad, and, you know. Max. Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. She's Kate is I'm so, so cute. grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many oh, people oh, who love you and want to help you. What the hell was that? My hair's you. got a mind of its own. I know. Own. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so She's I could so do some sweet. drawing. She's so sweet. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. <laughs> I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. Wow. wow. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just... Pray I can get this drawing right. Man, even like the littlest bit of kindness goes a long way. Just care a little, you know, just make the effort to care about somebody else, even just a little bit. You have no idea how much that might make somebody's day. Just doing even the littlest acts of kindness. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Nathan. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. 
Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. Hell yeah, he does. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Hell yeah, we well, do. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that Hell might yeah, be a start. I did. <laughs> you did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? Who knows? Uh, Prescott family. I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse, or covering worse. up for something. I never say this about people. But Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. They have something to do with death. We're going with to stop Rachel. him. With Rachel. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, oh. please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you. Yes. Okay? Yes. Of course, Kate. Yes. I can't do this without you. Go, now Kate. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. Go, Kate. Okay. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. Ah! Uh, no boys allowed. Just no us. No boys allowed. Just us girls. <laughs> you are funny, Max. And right. I have to get back to our uh, mission. mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. Aww. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. It's so interesting. Like, you, I didn't really expect, uh, like, a friendship to come from. You know, I didn't expect this friendship, really. You know, we have that friendship with um, Chloe. But this was one... Like, this deep friendship was not really one that I expected. I'm, like, really happy for. There we go. Well, how is she? She's doing okay. She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, we're gonna go mess stuff up. We're gonna go flip his world upside down. Honestly, this, like, I know this is a high school, but this makes me miss college so much. The freedom, the downtime, honestly, even the homework. Chatting with friends, going to lunch, spending time with them in class. Oh, hey Max, I miss it so much. how you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend Chloe. Yeah. Chloe, why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for the school. It's a long story. In actual files here. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> Max, are you sure that you're all right? Yeah. It's weird, just. Being on campus, like, everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't really? force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but... It's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I kind of wanted to enter so a photo, though. Maybe trouble, I should have taken more photos. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. <laughs> I have some fun. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. That's funny. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not just for a teacher. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. <laughs> Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Yes. Now let's go break into Nathan's room. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Principal Wells was so loaded the other night here. That was really funny, actually. 
so I think these are the Justin, same so dorms, right? Seen you. No need to go there now. Oh, okay. I have to find info about Nathan. Okay. Insane. Just so I hear. Do I have to talk to one of these dudes? Nope. Hmm. Who am I gonna have to talk to, Zach? Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. <laughs> I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. Nathan. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. We're not. Hell no. But I don't want to go with that. probably know him better. I've tried. Nathan is a Prescott, and with that comes a lot of baggage. Too much for one teenager. This week was the proof. Principal Wells did the right thing. I know. Nathan needs real help. Yes, he does, Max. I did try once, but Mr. Prescott didn't appreciate my help. I did see Nathan <laughs> They're flying his drone in the than usual, so maybe it's good you haven't found him. Huh, interesting. Recent events? I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I have I like her. Wrap I like my her. mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. Beyond science. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. True. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. I was watching Marvel movies last night, and one of them was Thor. I think I was watching one of the Thor movies, or maybe it was... I watched a couple. I watched the Avengers. I watched, like, Thor 1 and 2, and then I think I watched the Fantastic Four, which, oh my god, great movie. I forgot about that movie. Um, go Disney+. Plus. But yeah, no, I was watching... I think it was one of the Thors, and they pretty much said, like, magic is just science we don't understand yet. So, you don't think this could be some kind of prophecy? I totally wish something. magic was real. Max, I would you know fly. how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. Unless you count those oh. end-of-the-world posters. Unless you know something I don't. What about wormholes and chaos theory? They're like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. Chaos. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Maybe we Not lived in a rift. reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Is that a real book? Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. True that. We know that. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing. And now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Mm. Blackwell needs help. Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. Yeah! I don't mean to get riled up. But that party should have been postponed. Yup. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Yup. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? 
I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. Oh my This elitist gosh. nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. You're all I too love young this to teacher. Be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry. We need more Grant. teachers like her. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. Need it's always like good her. talking to you, Max. Yeah. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. As a scientist, she is a A plus teacher. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. Aw, oh, yeah. All right, let's go break into some stuff. Let's go break in. It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott <laughs> in the room next door. True. Good point. <laughs> Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Bat Max. Now Spider I just have to Max. find Nathan. Spider room. Max. Ooh. The Vortex Club sucks is. <laughs> Ooh. Nathan Drubin number 111. Nice, Kate, you're so awesome. I love to bring out the rebel in me. You're already a rebel, trust me. Always, please, please be careful. Promise, of course, I'll keep you posted. I know you will. One of those. Oh, Kate brings it. So room 111 is the magic number. Dude, I don't even want to look around here because I... Our toilet paper I don't care. I want to just get dorms. to his room. <laughs> Oh, there's somebody in there. They're breaking the rules. 111? Yeah. Does he have any roommates, though? We're gonna. She's gonna freaking break. Oh! <gasps> yeah, because nobody heard that. And that's not a huge issue. What? Now I need to. That's so cute and ironic. I the can't believe Nathan still has it around. Yeah, kind of cute. Joyce. Max, now that David's not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting. Stop acting out so much, but that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know it happened, so don't bother to defend your or explain. I hope. I hoped you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her, unless both of you want to play bad. But she can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, Joyce. Even I get into shenanigans, but I'm trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know, Max. I forget you're still a teenage adult. By the way, I found a nest on the ground in the garage. Poor eggs and birds. Oh, no! That was all me! Wait, I wonder if I could have put the plank back though oh no i messed things up for a photo op i thought victoria had the photo bling but once again the prescott's rule really actually said about that oh oh <laughs> that monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand Bastard. Six thousand dollars for a camera? Hold on, is that is that laughing in the game, like in the dorm, or was that my neighbor? 
nope, it, it's it's the game. I'm sitting here like, that sounds so much like my neighbor. Please, please, it's please, please kind of stay away, Nathan. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Oh, that like, that threw me off. I was like, why is my neighbor shouting right now? Um. That is so Chloe. Hey, asshole, we need to talk or I'm going to tell everybody what you did and you're going to play and you're going to pay mother trucker watcher of language. Oh my God, Chloe, oh, Chloe. What? Oh my God, what? No, 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 don't turn that on. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Or he just enjoys entertainment. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. I love games that narrate as you play. Like, oh, still one of my favorite story games has got to be What Remains of Edith Finch. Because that one was like that like this concept but on steroids and it was just so well done like the whole time just kept you kept you immersed it's so damn creepy but the guy has his own style interesting though interesting shot from a purely artistic standpoint it's kind of cool dvds these films all have a dark pattern Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. That is, that's pretty messed up. No, no, no. That looks like a totally fun show. I, I didn't mean to Even do that. Nathan has a light side. Oh man, that dickhead stole one of my selfies. Uh, that's mega creepy. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. Gift from my mouse is weird. A gift from Do we know who? My mouse cord is like getting stuck. Okay, I think it's good now. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, so we're probably gonna find something on here. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Yeah, something something bad's gonna go down. What's up? To Victoria. Hey, gorgeous, let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as styling and expensive. I'm psyched about going and I'm picking up some serious potty favors. Even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have an end of the end of the world theme, then let's do it on point, right? I don't like it. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you and why Kate will get justice. Can I play it? Oh, I guess not. Maybe that's a good thing though. Vortex Club, October 2013. Wasn't that the year that, uh... Oh no, that, that, that's the, that's the one that Kate was all, all weird at. Okay, I thought that was the one that Rachel disappeared. Around the time Rachel disappeared. It is not. Oh man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Who? From Sean, Nate, I know this has been a stressful week and your mother and I are, are here to talk if need be, but make an appointment anytime. Um, just make an appointment anytime. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after this book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you to, I need you calm and quiet while Pan Estates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden and I'll guide you into this room step by step as I did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shithole town is going to get in a neat... It's going to get an enem enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't F it up, son. Your father. Yikes. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Maybe and that's the thing. Far away. Maybe that's the thing. You gotta get far away to be okay. 
Tudo Bim from Brazil, little brother, it's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in our exciting scholastic life at Blackwell. I bragged all my coworkers in the Peace Corps about my talented bro, Nate. Got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. Even though I can't check my mail or phone, please, please, please send me some new photos on campus so I can live vicariously through your lens. I miss you and your pictures. Mother told me you've been in trouble and father has been on your ass, but you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I love dad, Nate, but I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom. The only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into one for the family legacy. End of lecture. You're at school, so I just wanted to make you feel at home. Back to Mangrove, sending good thoughts. Better write back or I'll have a jaguar shit to your door. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Extreme diet suppressant available online with a hundred pills is two hundred and fifty dollars. Wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Nathan, I'd like to apologize for the recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students will use that to make their own name at Blackwell. I know your father was upset. Well, I have assured him that you will never bring a weapon to school. That you would never bring a weapon to school. False. I hope she has a photo of that. I don't want you distracted from school. And I'm certain this matter would be settled by the end of the week. If you have questions, you know I'm always available to talk. Okay. Seriously, though, that is... So convincing. I'd sounds. cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Oh, I think that's cute. That is mean. What is that? <gasps> he moved something. What the something. hell are all those marks on the floor? Probably moved something. There's probably something behind it. Or underneath. Oh. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh. Oh yes, little phone. You are oh. mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I don't think this prescription has helped Nathan. Maybe he's not taking it. Okay, so it looks like we got what we need. Let's peace out. Right. Chloe! Max, you're score. finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His Good room stuff. Was clean and creepy. Super creepy. Check this out. Super Boom, creepy. Nathan, we got you by the balls, fucker. Also, did she grab? Oh! <gasps> she grabbed that. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Oh yeah. Get the fuck out of my face. Warren coming in hot. <clears throat> God, I love that kid. <gasps> Did she just headbutt him? You are so fucking dead. <gasps> <gasps> Get off me, bro. <sighs> <sighs> Stop Warren. We gotta do the right thing. This Warren, kid doesn't deserve it. to get the, beat, the crap beat out of him because his father. Oh, oh my head. Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you, you're all dead. I'm surprised he didn't shoot, Let's go. to be now. honest. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. Yeah. Okay, kid. Okay, kid. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. I agree. I agree. Welcome to the boys. Regretfully. Dorm. I agree. Even though I don't want to agree. I agree. Got to do the right thing. Damn. That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. Uh -uh. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. <laughs> or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better 
Um, Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. <laughs> Warren's the best. I hope something Man, becomes of their so relationship. In love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beatdown to Nathan. It was a He just shows up at like the best that. times. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. It's always so interesting when you play games like this and like at the very beginning, you know, like when she's walking around the grounds and stuff and like you're, you're, you're new to the game, you don't really have any sort of emotional attachment. And then you see like you see yourself later on in the game and you're like at these places and now it almost feels like you're at home there as well with the characters. Like I got that, I got that sense like just now when we were on the grounds like chatting, it just felt so familiar. It's just so crazy how games can make you feel like that too. God, I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Aw. Well, that asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. You know what would be great? If I still had a gun. Yes, the chance for gunplay would just about even be <laughs> Frank would scare better. He's a pussy. Besides, if I take him out, you can just rewind. Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. After Kate, I feel like every time I do, it might be the last. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Oh, so they're there to talk to Frank. There's his RV. Didn't really understand there for a second, like, why they were here. I didn't, I had not registered his RV being there in my brain. All right, let's go chat. Let's go chat this guy. Is he in there? Anybody home? Frank doesn't need tinted windows when they're this dirty. Yeah. Ooh, nasty. Want to climb up on that ladder? On that ladder and go for a ride. Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. I was gonna say, is it dirty or is the view just being obstructed by like cardboard? Behold, Honestly, Frank's beer garden. Hear me out. I love the idea of like mobile RV homes. I think they're so cute. It's the best way to live minimalist. It blows my way. mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Yeah, that's crazy. It's crazy. Look at the whale's teeth. That is always so cool to me. Photos. Maybe that would be a good photo for the contest, but I think it's past the deadline to submit anything. Oh, that stinks. Those beached whales look so awful, but still so majestic. In a very strange way, yes. There's also one that has like birds on it. Those beached whales look so awful, but still so majestic. Oh, whoops, my bad. Like a decked out RV, being able to just park in places like this and wake up to a beach view every morning. While well, having just the mi like bare minimum, of, like the necessities that you need in life. As long as I Take can carry around my PC setup, dude. we'd be good. Wi-Fi, internet connection. That's all I'd need. This is where Frank ponders his Streaming existence. Streaming on the go. Streaming on the go. And drunk. I'm pretty sure I have like a piece of clothing with this print on it. Dog bowl. 
Oh, fresh meat. So Pompadour must be okay. Good boy. Good doggy. Pompadou, that's such a cute name. Okay. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Partner yeah, in crime, bodyguard. partner in time. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. But Jesus, it's not Rachel. okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No. You don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm there? <laughs> you don't get it. You already did. Oh, oh. Help or else. You don't get it. You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man. I do not get it. Especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you... Like you know more than I do. I do. No, no, I'm not. I... But I do. Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shits. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? I feel like I should yes, go back Frank. in time. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Not ever tell me what to do. Oh! <gasps> Whoa! Get off Whoa. me! Whoa! Motherfucker! <gasps> okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna go back in time. So if we don't want to anger him, good to know. Yeah, let's try that again. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. <sighs> Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So. Tell me exactly what I need to do here. Watch your mouth. Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. Yep. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. Or how you used to be. <laughs> I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Okay, I think we've seen this. Close the door, no fight. No wep- No weapons, no fight. No weapons. <sighs> Frank, um, after our last meeting, I don't want any weapons involved. Could you put your knife or whatever in the RV until we're done talking? After you pulled a fucking gun on me, you want to negotiate my safety? I didn't trust you before, and now I do less. Okay. God, I hate you, Blackwell shits. You act like you own this town, like I'm your puppet. Nobody owns me. You understand that? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Not ever tell me what to do. Okay. Not great. Okay, so don't undermine him. Got it. Don't undermine him at all. Talk him up, actually. Right, let's try this again. Listen, Chloe. I... Max, I should have known you would be... Just be careful. Maybe it goes... Be careful, okay? Don't give Frank any excuses okay. to go ballistic. We need his help, Chloe. You know, I'm not a total fuck-up. Occasionally, I can be both cool and careful. Like now, okay? All right. I... Okay, so we've seen that. No fight. No fight. Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even I about think this is you. good. 
we're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. So what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Help or else, I'm sorry. I feel like with him, because he's kind of a hothead in this situation, I feel like we should be, like, more apologetic. Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Psychology. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. This timeline I, is so crazy. I it feels so like it's been days. I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. Uh, I, I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only yeah, here we've to seen talk. It. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Gave dog a bone. Dog rescue. Pompadou is cute. Oh, Pompadou is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you broke into my RV. That's how we got out. You did it. Are you crazy? That's my dog. Wait, that's not what... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel isn't in here, and I'll spin you on your ass. What the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business? This time, the price is wrong, skank. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Not ever tell me Ah, crap. Okay, so don't mention dog or anything about the dog. Also, don't mention the bone. Or maybe... Maybe we can mention the bone because he, that doesn't mean he got out. We just gave him the bone from the trash. Oh, dang it. Are you serious? We gotta do that all over? Listen. Okay. Uh... Watch your mouth. Please. You can't... No fight. So we already know Thanks what they say me. up to this point. No, that's... Just the... Oh, is that... A I'm sorry. Listen... That was good. Yeah. There's no... Yeah, yeah. Come on, Frank, this is... All right, okay. Frank. Oh, yeah, you didn't... I... Get to the part with the dog. Fuck. I... I... Dude... Okay. We're only... Shit, you... Dog rescue? Gave dog... Let's go with the dog rescue. Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. We got him That's right amazing. where we want him. No, all right. It was just the right thing to do. We I couldn't stand right to see those want. poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Now we know his name. The dog is now I can bring up the dog's home. name. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now. Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes. We're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now, especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? All right, I don't want, I want to choose the right one here because I don't want to have to go through all that again. You know Rachel, Rachel's letter, bracelet, what are you hiding? You know Rachel, that's just good. You knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together, we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? 
When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Aww. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Yes! At well, least if there's I a the chance right thing, in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Uh, yeah, let's go with that one. It's a great sign. We're just naturally, we smell good that we smell good. Yeah, totally did not break into your RV or anything like that. Oh, and he gave her the gun back. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. He's not seriously. bad. He's just It's hard to guy. take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Yes, like it. I like how that ended. It only took me four rewinds, but you know, we got it. We got it. Just needed the information. That was cool. Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Leave the beach. <laughs> Smells like whale. Or there are five episodes. No, I think Chloe, there's only four. Are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. Are we gonna find Rachel? Like, I wonder what happened to her. I really do. I'm really excited to find out. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Frank's clues. Investigate. Gather info on a character by selecting all the correct clues. For each section, there is a specific number of clues to select. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Okay, so let's look at the stuff first. Hmm, Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Maybe we need... Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him, right? Hmm. So what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. Doesn't sound like it. Look. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. <gasps> oh! Okay, Chihuahua, Katie, Bobtail, Mrs. Fancy Car, Sheba, Nacho, Husky, Joseph. These are all the code words. German Shepherd, Steve, Na Rot is Nathan Boxer. Is there one for Rachel? No, but Katie. <gasps> Katie! Okay. Wow, okay, okay. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Okay, I think, I think it, I think between this and the notebook, I think that's what it is. Because this is going to be select. Yes, the game is on. Now, yes. talk to us, so account book. Tell us everything. Max, I know we can snap all these pieces together. Roger that. Okay. Let's Wait. see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Okay, so these are Frank's clues again? I thought we just did Frank's clues. Look. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Oh, so these are probably like what he sold and to whom? Okay, so we got the code names, Boxer, Bulldog, um, Rot was Nathan, right? So we have one here. And then Chihuahua was Kate. Katie. Funny how they're all dog names. Okay, but sh there's no Chihuahua. But I think that this might be part of it. Let's look at this one. 
everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. Oh, damn. That explains a lot. Oh, no. Okay. There's a chihuahua. Oh, man. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? There's so many of these, though. So I'm like, which ones do we need? There's a lot of paper here. Okay, Max, remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Well, Nathan's rot. So it's like, maybe we should pick out all the names that have huh. all the ones with Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Party supplies. Well, I know there was one in the top one. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Any more rot? For Rottweiler? Okay, so nothing on that one. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. Okay, there's another one. Oh, two. Weed. Skidoo acid. Holy smokes. Okay, wait, did this one have rot in it? Okay, so no. So that one, we don't need. What was this one? Okay, this one's not, I don't think this one's gonna be important either if we're trying to look for Nathan only. This one did have Nathan in it, but I think he only shows up once. GHB, I don't know what that stands for. But there was, there was two, look, this one. Cause this one has him twice, GHB. Okay. And then, so I think it's the bottom left and far right. Yeah, cause then he doesn't even show up on this one at all. Okay, so let's select this one and select this one. Oh. Wait a sec. So it looks like we can select all the ones with rot in it. Okay, good. So this one, nothing. Definitely the first one. I just want to make double, triple, sure. Yeah, okay. So this one, we'll select this one too. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Nice, okay. <laughs> Detective me on the case. On the case. All right. Um, okay, let's go to David's clues. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did okay. during the party's week. Oh, geez, there's a lot of evidence here. Wait, 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 wait. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. Okay, she knows something. Oh, yeah. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. So this might be important. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. Okay, well that's not going to be important, I don't think. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. Okay. I don't think the photos in this situation course, are going to be I'm anything important. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? Okay, so I think the coordinates are going to be important. That actually proves location. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. Where the Kate? 
Okay. Uh, I think this is gonna be part of it. You think, do you think the cameras are a thing? Cause like license plate, okay, but that doesn't prove. Wait a sec. Do we have license plate? No, just timestamps, dates, and coordinates. Okay. I don't think that would have anything to do with it. The pictures I don't think are any, like they're not useful. Hmm. What else could be good evidence? Oh man, this is hard. I don't want to select the wrong thing. Nothing really stands out as important here. But I feel like this could be useful. Maybe this would be. But wait, these are not cameras that are already set up, right? These are the ones that he wanted to install, right? Dude, this is hard. I feel like this could be useful. Maybe. Looks like this is not relevant at all. Okay. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Okay. Good clue. Okay. Um, let's, let's deselect all of them. I definitely think that one's it. <gasps> this is like goddamn math. I suck. Oh man. Okay, let's try that again. Select. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. Mmm, this is hard. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. Spies are us. This one's hard. Uh, okay, coordinates. And that's all she wrote. Oh, why? Please though? let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Okay, so I think we have to look up everything that's related to Nathan. Like, everything. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Of For course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as <laughs> usual. Okay, so I think that's going to be a part of it. And I think, so we know that that car is not his. So he's probably got the red pickup truck for everything. So we probably want... Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? Looks like it. Look. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? What? There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. Huh. Wow. Okay. That might be useful. Those clues are not related. Okay, so maybe not. But what about this other red pickup truck? Could he maybe like, hold on. That's definitely Chloe's car. Okay, so maybe that's not important. Wow, sir. This looks like an expensive machine. I wanna see what happens if I select this. Come on. Deduce Nathan's license plate number, then match it up with the coordinates. Okay, what, what about this one? 
Okay, this is just sad. Please select. Okay, that's fine. I'm just making sure, dude. Okay, jeez. Yep, another car David was tracking. Oh, I didn't see. Hmm. Who I else didn't was see David the tracking here? Number. Why the hell this are you following these just people? Just making sure. Just making sure. And to where? Okay, so it's the it's these ones. Max, there's no logical link between those clues. Oh. Okay. Well, hold up. So this one might not be his then, so it might be this one. Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. And I'm pretty sure I saw that on one of the license plate photos. Okay, so it's X S X F. Right? I want to make sure. So he does have the busted thing, so it's S. I think it was this one. Deselect. S X F. Yes. Okay. So it's these ones. Nice. Oh yes. Now we're finally getting Five. somewhere. Chloe. Let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. It's definitely some law and order stuff. I'm so glad you're working with me on this. So now we actually have to investigate Nathan's clues now. I have right. to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Okay, look. <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. Dang. Okay, so could it be any of those numbers? Okay, let's look at this. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? Look. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. I think they might be. Look. Oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency due to crude outburst in Mrs. Hoyda's intro to literature class. Okay, so that's fine. SIM card. Oh, that definitely Couldn't gotta hurt be to part give of this it. pin code a whack. All right, all right. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. Okay, so I think it's gonna have to do with this, this, and the phone. That's it. <sighs> Fail. Abort. Okay. Wrong clues. Okay, Max. Let's okay, blow good. this code up and go home. Yeah, let's go. Oh, right, because the file had the phone numbers on it. I can see you know SIM how to card. Lock that big board. Thing with the numbers on it, and then the phone, obviously. Okay. I need to investigate the clues of Nathan, Frank, and David. Okay, I just got a uh, text message, though. Just being a dad, I know it's been a tough week for you. Aw, it's almost over. I can call you guys later. Love you. Aw. Did she find out anything? We've printed everything we need. Now it's time to focus oh. on the big board. Big board. This board? Oh, I forgot. We're not done yet. Okay. Let's start hacking. Noise. Okay, look. Oh, jeez. Uh, so there's something, the 9535 is circled. Make sure to change it, so it's probably changed under the SIM pin. What was this one? So 9535. Nine five three five. does this show up anywhere? 9535. Okay, I think... Personally, I think it's that. Nine. Five. Three. Five. Come on, be, please be it. Oops. Bad code. 
Maybe he... Maybe he didn't change it. Hope it doesn't... <sighs> yeah. Dang it. I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Okay, let's take a look again. Oh my gosh, it could be like any of these. 9535, 4436, 5431. Maybe any of them match up. Let's go look at the other ones. 10198. Hmm. I feel like it's gonna be one of the codes. Wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. Okay, let's just look at zero, zero, 0198. I wanna say I saw that on the little paper. Nope. Maybe like the last four digits? 7063, 7063, 1010, didn't see that, and then 8603, 7063 and 8603. Okay, let's just see if it's Okay, so let's let's we're gonna have to go with a different one then. So it can't be the three digit zero zero five eight or five four three one zero zero. I'll let's try the zero zero five eight first. Zero zero five eight. Come on. Hope I don't get this thing locked out. You locked it, dumbass. Frick. All right, well, that's not it. 9988? 3988? 3988? Aw, crap, man. Can I go back in time? <laughs> 8603. 8603-86. Zero, three. Come on. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Well, it'd be great if you could help me. Eight, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight. Eight, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight. Zero, eight. Maybe I'm supposed... Wait a second. Maybe I'm supposed to lock it. Let's try this. Hold on, I'm just gonna put in a random one. You locked it, okay. dumbass. Maybe that's the point. Okay, 87897808. I'm gonna not remember this, so I'm gonna write this down. Cause I think I have to put in this code. 87897808. So I'm not gonna remember eight digits. Cause I think you have to put eight digits into this to unlock it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the goal they made you think that you were that you're supposed to unlock it, geniuses. So we have eight, seven, oh crap, eight, nine, seven, eight, zero, eight, seven, eight, zero, eight. Okay, come on. Oh yeah. Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. Yes, they tricked you. They tricked you into thinking that you're supposed to find the right code in all of that, but really you're supposed to lock it so that you use the like the overall SIM code to get into the SIM card. Um, so what's up, G need the G. Okay, cool. Bish, you stole me water, asshole. Calm down, bring it to me, bring it in it, stay away, pigs on the beach. Okay. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. You home, got a party tonight, home, on the way, load the bowl. <sighs> Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. Jonesing. <sighs> he didn't have enough drugs. Hey, I need to score ASAP. I don't make house calls. You have a car? No time. Charge me double. Damn right. Have cash on you? No f***ing around. Give me the address. I'll call you to give you the exact direction. D directions. In transit. Get that money out. Drug dealer drama. You up, bro? No sh- What do you need? Peruvian 
mosquito acid. You're paying night prices. Don't make me wait. Sorry for being a... Need more stuff. You home? Yes, don't come. Off. God, Nathan. You're out of control. Hey, need weed, etc. Now, calm yourself, you, you tweaking. Soon. Hook a brother up, please. Meet Beach. Be cool this time. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'll come for your ass. I know where you sleep. No, Nathan. He wrote her it's the time same for thing. you to watch out. Asshole. Oh, this is what he sent to her. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. This is a business, not just a hobby you want. Oh, wait, please do not contact me at work. I've told you this before and being high is not an excuse anymore. This is a business, not a hobby. You want me to treat you like an adult who can get things done on his own? Impress me. I'd like nothing more than to be proud of you. I'm not there yet. Wait, was his dad also in the dealings for something? Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. That's a lot. Okay, no. So he needs to find out locations. Meet beach, be cool this time. Okay, so that one has a location. That's the beach. Um, I'll call you to give you the exact directions. Okay, so nothing there. Pigs, okay, so beach. Another one that says beach. Okay. Uh, maybe this has in- So, this infamous party was the fourth. Okay, fourth. So I gotta look for timestamps. It says the fourth, right? 9 30, 9 10 1, 10 1. So this is in September, October. Wait. So, this infamous October party. Was so I'm looking the for the 10 4. 10 4. Okay. 10 4. 10 7. Okay. 10 4. Okay, so maybe. Okay, oh, 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 oh. Okay, so we need to look for. 1004, sweet. Okay, so select this. For sure. Wait, hold on, I wanna deselect that. Okay, that one's on the seven, so that's not relevant, I don't think. Seven, because if that's the only one with the date, the fourth, then obviously it's gonna be the only one that we need. Hmm. That's a lot. Okay, that's 9.30. Okay, that's rot. Black one, two ounces. I feel like this is like pretty significant. Okay. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? Um, so we need 10-4 for the picture, most likely. That beach is like Frank's main office. Okay, no. I know Nathan no. wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? Okay, so that one has the fourth, but also has a couple other ones. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there too. Not much out there. Oh! <gasps> Maybe this is it. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. <sighs> Poor rich Nathan. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, no, it's definitely she would fry It's his definitely ass. this barn. It has to be.
This makes no sense, Max. If I can match one of the text messages and transactions with Frank, then I can find the exact... This is like goddamn math. It is. I suck. So is it looks one like of the this is not relevant at all. Since Kate left the party early with Nathan, I should search for texts, locations, and transactions in the evening. Oh. In the evening. 10-7... Oh, okay, so hold up a second. Okay, that one is in the evening, but what about this one? This was the only other one on that 10 4th p.m. Oh, shoot. Wow. No, this wouldn't work. It's not on those same days. Ten f <gasps> yeah! Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Mathematically speaking, going through all those combinations would have taken forever if you didn't actually like, read anything you just guessed. Nope. Could nothing, have taken Max. Forever. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. New is the I'm barn, on though. This. Hold on too suspicious somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott I'm shocked too should we call the police fuck that you know the police here are like Nathan's private security right that's so messed up as you've noticed this whole town is messed up we can't trust anybody except each other so we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves I was afraid you'd say that we could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, the dark nobody else. Room. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. She's in some dark I feel room. like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Oh, God. This one lasted a long Do time. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. I hate to end it now, man. But I'm gonna have to. This was a really, really, really long episode. Sorry, guys, it was so long. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of investigative research. I know I did. That was kind of fun putting the puzzle pieces together. If you guys are new to the stream and you made it this far, holy smokes, you are amazing. I heart your face. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and for liking the video. It helps so much and I appreciate it so, 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 so much. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night and I will see you guys in the next and maybe even the last episode. I'll see you guys there. Bye.